So as promised, let's welcome from the Gas Task Force, and that's the giant African, African Snail Task Force, Riyad Mohammed. He joins us on the Zoom line. Um, Mr. Mohammed, welcome and good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I got to know, Riyad, let, let me ask you. Well, uh, firstly, firstly, why is this giant African snail so dangerous? Why is it such a major concern? For those who have no idea as to what's happening, just, just walk us through that first. Okay, well, Jason, to be um, supremely simple, <clears throat> it's a global pest. Um, it arrived in Trinidad and Tobago, well, Trinidad, to be supremely specific, in 2008, and it consumes over 500 different species of crops. So that alone is very, very alarming. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how did that get you in the first place? I mean, obviously, it's not, it's, that's not indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago. No, 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 it's not indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago, and it came in as a pet. And it was mismanaged along with many other uh, types of wildlife, you know, and then it spread, and here we are, many years later. Where is it most prevalent in the country? Uh, you see it in the major farming areas, for example, like the Orange Grove or in Arangues, anywhere there's a lot of excess moisture. But now we are not only seeing it in the farming areas, but in the urban and even rural areas. And not only on agricultural lands, but also commercial, residential, um, industrial as well. So it's a national issue now, not only an agricultural issue. How does one approach, um, I mean, obviously I'm seeing safety precautions. Is it, is it dangerous? Is it something that, that can cause any kind of problems with touching and handling of this snail? Yes, please do not handle without the proper PPE. Um, you know, get your plastic gloves, get some um, headwear, a cover for the eyes and the mouth, and even your, um, your boots. And you, you want to ensure that you don't touch these snails um, directly with any part of your skin. So you always want to mask up and use the proper PPE in place to handle these snails. Riyad, what could happen if you touch it with, 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 the, with, with your bare hands? So the giant African snail or gas, you know, for simplicity, um, it is a vector for the rat lung worm, and it can cause meningitis in humans. Um, however, it's extremely rare, but we still want to take the necessary precautions as advised by the Ministry of Health. So what's the collection drive now? Uh, I know it's in full swing. Just give us details in that regard. If you go now, plastic glove on, PPE, you know, you're all protected, yeah putting this now in pigtail bucket. Um, well, how are we doing this? How, what, 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 let's, let's talk Let's talk the money part of this now. How, how we, right, so what's going on? I like the terminology pigtail bucket here because that, that's a commonly used term. Yeah. All right, so you mask up, you gear up proper equipment, um, you collect these snails, um, you drown them preferably. However, you could also bring them in life. So you place them into a bag, not a feed bag, a plastic bag, um, the ministry would like or prefer if you drop them in the clear or transparent bags, even double bag it, um, just for safety, and bring it into the, the ministry itself, but only in two locations, um, the Chase Village um, office and the Farm Road Cure Up office. Those two alone, and you want to bring them in on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon only, no other days or time. What's the compensation like in terms of alcohol? I know it's based on weight. It's based on weight, and it's five TT dollars per kilogram of snail, dead or alive. Mm. How is the drive so far? Are people bringing in these snails? Well, today is the first day of the launch of this um, pilot project, and it's really a collection drive. So okay. what we want to do is to ensure that we get the most amount of farm. Um, participation in this 2.5 week period, right? It goes from January 16th to the 2nd of February. Reason being, um, this drive is really supposed to take place in the rainy season, which will start maybe around May or June um, this year. Mm -hmm. However, we have a few more weeks of moisture on the land. All right, so we want to try to use this pilot project to test the response systems and, you know, add our data collection systems to see how a drive like this will really help reduce the populations of the giant African snail. Well, Riyad, let me tell you, I'm happy that you would have mentioned transparent bags because you know we as Trimbegonians, very tricky. I mean, people might mix snail with brick hunting, you know, and big stone. So yeah. I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy that, you know, you're, because you're, you're gonna obviously do your checks and balance. Somebody can't just bring, 
you know, the bag full of weight and you check two snails and about 20 big stone. <laughs> brown, brown stone. No, 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 yeah, yeah. The proper checks and balances will okay. be in place. That's why we ask for the transfer bags. In addition to, we have the proper technical team at the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, you know, to, to peruse through the process and ensure that every check and balance is made um, to the best of the ability. Let me in the safest possible way. So let me ask you a very important question. How does one differentiate the giant African snail to just the normal, the regular, the regular snail? Because, I mean, I wouldn't know, if I see a snail on the ground, I wouldn't really be able to tell what is giant African snail from the regular Right. Well, snail. So you look at the, yeah, you look at the color of the tools from the tip um, to the wider parts, and it's yellow and brown. Uh, sorry, yellow and brown. And you can clearly see the color, the differentiation. And if you look at what the snail is consuming, you will see that they focus on more of the fruit crops. For example, your sweet peppers, your pumpkin, your watermelon, your cantaloupe. So they're in those heavily farm or food areas. Mm. And is it really because, I mean, as I said, the, the snail won't be walking around with a sash saying, hey, I, it's me, giant African snail. I guess based on what you're saying, the color differentiation, and is it based yes. on also sheer size? Is it really much bigger than the regular it snail? It is much bigger based on age and consumption patterns, yes. It, so it can get really, really huge. Like how big? Give me a, give me a ballpark, like size of a mango? The, no, no, no. The um, <laughs> the largest I have seen here is about almost one pound, right? About four hundred and fifty grams. Just probably give me but a comparison. Huh? Give, me a, give, give me a comparison, something oh, that we can identify. Um, let me see. Bigger than my fist. Uh, big, bigger than a Julie mango. Bigger than a Julie mango. Yeah. A full ripe Julie mango snail so big. Yes, it can get up to that um, large as I've seen that in this country. Oof, right wow. in the Orange Grove area. Yeah, because they consume a lot. They, they feed um, at night, and they feed almost non-stop. They just clear every bit of vegetation down. Yeah, hence the reason, I guess, the name to Giant, huh? Giant yes. African Snail. Um, give us the information again. Where do we go to get the details? And to, again, uh, because um, you said it starts from today. Yes, yes. yes. County Karani in Chase Village and Farm Road Kirup. Those two offices are low at this time. From Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8 to a.m. to 12 noon only. Have you get, taken into consideration that people could probably, you know, again, Trinidad, Trinidadians, eh, we are a bit different. Do you think, or oh, have given consideration to the fact that people could start farming these snails to collect money? Yes, that is also a consideration by the team. Um, it will be heavily monitored. Right? The data collection process will al allow us to know exactly where these snails were collected from in which area and to observe the volumes. Right, and we constantly have extension officers, you know, ensuring and looking every day to, to, to make sure that nobody really farms these seeds. We want to eradicate. I know that's an almost impossible term to use. We really want to control this pest rather than, um, you know, to grow it as a food source, mm. especially as we were cautioned by the Ministry of Health and the Meningitis issue. What, what, what's some of the data required when people are bringing in these snails? Uh, some basic forms of, I, uh, basic form of ID, uh, residence, um, contact number, and most important, where did you collect these things? The geographic location. Is it money on uh, delivery, or you have to wait and get the money uh, months? Some you will get an official year. check. Yeah, you will get an official check from the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, and you are you will collect a payment at the Ministry's head office in Shogunas here. But they will announce the final payment dates um, soon by the end of the week. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, listen, you know, I, I, I saw the drive, I remember seeing it, and I was like, okay, interesting, and, you know, let's see if, um, it's, it's proactive, it's proactive, it's, it's proactive, it's a chance to give people, um, you know, put something on the table, yes. and let's get, right. let's, let's, let's sort out this, and the environment, and, well, not so much the environment, but our crops, per se. All right. Definitely. Well, Ria, thank you. I mean, I think we had a really uh, good discussion this morning. I, I, there's more clarity in my mind. As to the drive, and we wish you the best. Thank you again, Jason. Take care. That's right. Take care. You heard it yourself. The gas, the giant African snail, the task force, and their collection center, and uh, the, the drive. You heard it right here. We take a quick pause. We got news coming up at 7, the update, and much more on the other side. See you soon.